Hello, beautiful, precious brethren. Look at that pretty flower. It's in the grass. My dog and I are walking through the grass, and there's uh, bees down there getting the pollen of the little flowers and stuff. It's kind of cool. Anyways, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I didn't get a chance to finish that last series and tell you what happened, but uh, I figured I'd just talk to you all about what the Lord's Spirit has been showing me. We're to live by the Spirit, not by the flesh. Hallelujah. So the workers of iniquity, the Bible talks about workers of iniquity. There are workers of iniquity. And the Bible says that sin, that they walk on our heads. They trample down the um, holy city, the beloved city. They surround and encompass the camp of the saints about the beloved city. And the Bible talks about these serpents who are double-tongued talkers. And remember in Genesis 3, the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman, there's enmity between them. And uh, this, this is the serpent had a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Well, it was, God, it was a tree in God's garden. And uh, God said not to eat of it or you will surely, surely die. So it's a poisonous tree, okay, a poisonous tree. Remember that. And in the Bible, it talks about the serpent. Their words are poison, like the poison of the asp of a serpent. And they sow in cockatrice eggs. Cockatrice eggs are like little dragon eggs or serpent eggs, okay? They sow in these things into the earth. And what's the earth? Well, our heart, our mind, our emotions. Um, this is what the devil and his army does. The witches, all right? Uh, the Bible talks about rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So they do witchcraft on the little ones. Even from the womb of a mother, they will sow in these demons. Now, they have figured out how to get into the water. So the Bible talks about we are a sea of people. All right. So the Bible talks about the ships of Tarshish. So in the sea of people, inside of us, we're made of water. The Bible talks about how they make their palaces between the seas. And we've talked about... The rivers of living waters that come from heaven, the sea of mankind, and then the bitter waters, which is like wormwood. And then you have the, um, the uh, tongue of the Egyptian sea, which comes from below. The Egyptians are from a place below. And even God says the Egyptians are men and not God, and their chariots flesh and not spirit. So what are they riding? Flesh. So what did Jesus do? He cast out a legion of demons. Okay, so I was, you know, um, given the gospel and I, God had me go to this one area and it was for a reason because I needed to learn something. And uh, this man said that he was going to reincarnate and be a woman in his next life. And I realized the Holy Spirit was showing me these are the ghosts in the earth. They call themselves ghosts. And what they do is they try to possess people, try to control people, their minds and their hearts and their bodies. That is what the evil angels are doing, and that's why they offer up a bad basket of fruit. Their fruit is not going to remain. Their fruit is evil. Their deeds are evil. And that's why Matthew 23, Jesus called them serpents, and, and um, the, um, John the Baptist called uh, them the bread of vipers. Okay, So God said not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And what did the serpent say? He went against the commandment of God and said, you could eat of that tree. Okay. But that tree, even though it says good, isn't from God's good. Because remember, only God is good. So these people make what they claim is good. But remember, not everything that they do that they say is good is really good. It's actually evil. The whole thing is bad, poisonous fruit. It's a game. It's a chessboard game. And we have checkmate, okay? So we have checkmate on them. So they're trying to possess the whole face of the earth. The Bible says that sheep, come. Come here. Come. Come closer to mama. The Bible says that they corrupt the earth, okay, and that they are spots in our feast of love, according to the epistle of Jude, remember, the spots in our feast of love. Now, the spirit of Christ is in us, right? So we are light. They are, the, like I said, God showed me the witches are black smoke spirits, and the smoke comes out of the pit. They're burning up. Their works are burning up. They are burning up because they have not faith, and they're workers of iniquity. And what did God say? The workers of iniquity walk on our head, okay? Our sin is, is, um, goes over us, okay? So these are the tempters, the influencers, the, uh, 
the merchants, the murderers, the sorcerers. They do sorcery on, on mankind from a child. They will follow, the Psalms of David said, they follow and mark our steps. They, the people of God, the, the nation of God, they say, oh, let's destroy their nation from on the face, off of the face of the earth. And they said, let's put sickness on them, that they would die. They say um, that they, the Bible says that they track our steps. So they have maps, technology through, they take pictures of us. They put things online to try to accuse us. Remember the accuser of the brethren, Satan is the accuser of the brethren. And we have an advocate with the father, the Lord Jesus. And the, the heavenly father had told me many times that I'm acquitted and I'm outside of the elements because um, I... Uh, studied the word of God to show myself approved, a workman that's not going to be ashamed. And when the Holy Ghost fire came, that burned up my flesh. It's dead and buried in the in, and with Christ. And I, my new creation is hid in God. And that's for every saint should be. But we have to return to God. A lot of people are loving the world and things of the world, you know, and, and working out of the flesh. Doesn't mean that you're not going to be saved. It means that, you know, maybe this, the Satan got a hold on us. We talked about this. But in the eternity, he has nothing. Jesus says, Satan has nothing in me. And God said that he, when the wicked rise up like a flood, the flood is their words. So the sea, remember, people speak words. So the devil speaks words through his people, devilish words. They, during their life, they seek to be rich and they do it by oppressing the poor by killing, stealing, doing sorcery, ways that you do not get rich. That's not the way that, you know, you're supposed to get rich. Even though God allows it, you know, he allows it. He shows them favor, but in the end, he will not restrain his favor off of us anymore. So he's restrained his favor on us. That's what he did for a time. The time is about up and the evil deeds of the wicked are being exposed. They're being burned up. So I found out that they also use uh, pharmacia, like um, uh, certain uh, medicine and different chemicals to put people under hypnosis so that they can plant thoughts, words, and things in their minds and hearts while they sleep. Remember Jesus said that they, they sow tares amongst the wheat while men sleep. All right, so these are spirits. These are evil spirits, workers of iniquity. These workers of iniquity walk all around us. The Bible says that the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Okay, so um, the Lord showed me that they have plans, and their plans, according to the Word of God, Lord rebuke the devil, um, their plans are to control the whole ocean and to put people under mind control through technology and through people casting gin on them, coming and speaking in their ear and trying to turn them away from Christ to other gods or other ideas about Christ, to try to um, make their faith weak, <laughs> different ways. Lord rebuke it in Jesus' name. Yep, I'm speaking the word of truth. Hallelujah. Um, anyways, they do a lot of different things. And um, that's why Abraham chased, or uh, someone chased away the, uh, I think it was Abraham chased away the um, the ravens because the witches used the ravens. And there's a lot to tell you about the black winged angels, the evil ones that work with the devil. Lord rebuke them, cast them out of the garden, as you said in the end, that you would destroy the the um, wicked husbandmen and set up new husbandmen. Husbandmen are people that tend the garden, that tend the garden of God and offer up fruit unto God. And the, this has to be good fruit, and that can only be in Christ, because only Christ is good, right? Because he is Emmanuel, God with us, and only God is good. So we have to be in the body of Christ, the one body, one faith, one hope, um, to be outside of all of this junk, you know, seated in heavenly places in Christ. And they use this ocean, they have this new thing called the ocean, ocean something. And it's their way of controlling mankind through spirit. Uh, the, the vibrations of to vibrate your sea, your water in your body through sound waves, technology, apparently even their um, their headsets with their headsets. They're able to track children and see where they live and then go and do witchcraft outside of them or send people in to speak to them in schools, in their social media groups, in their entertainment, in their TV, all these different ways. These are storms. So we rebuke this storm. We say no to their plans in the name of Jesus. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil, not to approve and agree with it. 
the devil and his army and these some people in that army claim to be Christian, okay? They claim to be God's children, wolves in sheep's clothing and tares amongst the wheat. Some of these people are doing witchcraft and, and doing these things with um, the devil and his army, the, the evil angels, the mystery Babylon and her children. And they're learning all these wicked ways and they're fighting against their own people, the saints. If they're born again, like Simon the sorcerer, they're doing things in the gall of bitterness and bonds of iniquity against their own body. And you see that in the first chapter of Revelation. Um, God, Jesus is giving them a warning and he's telling them, you know, those are ca they're casting stumbling stones before the children of Israel to stumble them. They're doing all manner of wickedness, right? So um, what the Lord showed me is that so through all their different ways and tactics, there's other ways that we're not talking about online nobody's really talking about they come and they become like your friend or your neighbor that's why jesus said your enemies are of your own household okay the body of christ your enemies are amongst you in your family those are spirits that are holding and oppressing the mind or the heart or the body of a soul so let's make an example let's say someone's addicted to technology all right, and they're speaking to him through the technology. They can also send evil spirits through the technology. Now, all of this is a storm and chaos. And remember, Jesus is not disturbed by the storm of chaos. God is not disturbed by this. He is resting, always. We're here to enter into God's rest and remain in his rest and rejoice in the salvation of our God. Because he says he is our savior, right? He's going to save us from all these things but he's bringing it out in the open to tell us what's going on. Because what did he say that he would let us know, we would know, you know, that we are supposed to trample down our enemies, as it says in Malachi, we're to trample down the wicked, <laughs> all right? With, and make the, the haughty, the proud, what is, what is the proud? Well, Job says the proud, the children of pride, are the scales of the dragon and remember the scales of the dragon are what hide people from the glorious gospel of christ right so satan covers their eyes and their ears that they would not see the glorious gospel of christ so these people that are fighting against their own body claiming to be part of the body of christ doing witchcraft on their neighbor sending jinn to trouble people and doing all these things they walk on every side and they pretend to be our friends while they're casting things or they'll give you food laced with gin or poison or they'll have put witchcraft on the food um, that's why Jesus said pray over your food <laughs> I've been praying over all the body of Christ food I've been praying that the, the shield of faith would block the fiery darts of the wicked from getting on any saints or prick, pricks in the eyes any of these things because that's what they do they send these gin familiar spirits which Jesus said get rid of the familiar spirits these wicked ones use the familiar spirits to attack you and confusion. That's why the whole um, rioting and the whole changing of uh, confusion, gen gender confusion stuff. Those are the abominations that the Bible says. If you read it in the Old Testament, those are abominations to the Lord. And that's what Mystery Babylon's abominations are. These poor souls, these men and women who were in their bed were captured by some devil that sat on them and got into their water their water their body and are controlling their their heart and mind and doing things remember jesus said don't let satan get a root in you okay a root uh, uh, let's say uh sin he talked about the heart can be cold because of sin and don't let him have a root in you a root of bitterness and the reason why is because it gives satan a hold on your flesh your water you know we're supposed to drain the sea <laughs> god's gonna do it he's gonna drain the sea of people it says in the bible he's gonna drain the sea and their ships will go down that's our water the words that they spoke to us that we received if you don't receive them that's a different story they're flooding and kind of rushing into the kingdom remember jesus said they take the kingdom by force Jesus frees all these people and then the devil comes in and takes the kingdom by force. So what does Jesus do at the end? What does the father do? He says, my father will come and burn up their cities and burn them up. This is all going to happen. It is happening now. Little bits of fire here and there. 
until they're all consumed. Because what happens? Heaven and earth passes away, but my word remains forever. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. God's going to burn up all the wicked that surround us. This is going to happen. So they are they have to advertise their plans and this is their plan to use the headsets and smart cities and their teslas and their technologies they will map you out they will map your family out your children and do all these things so you have to pray the blood of jesus christ how you overcome the whole world you say god your word says that i overcome the whole world by the blood of the lamb of god I ask that you remember that over my house, my family, my car, my work, and everywhere I go and everything that I touch. That anything that I eat, anything that goes in my body will not defile me. Your word says it will not defile me. It's what comes out of my mouth that will defile me. So that's why these people are defiled. The sorcerers are defiled because they speak witchcraft. They speak dark arts. As it says in Daniel, it talks about the dark arts. And Jesus talked about the sorcerers. Okay, in Revelation chapter 18 and throughout the scriptures, even in, I think, 20 or 21, somewhere around there, he talks about it. These people are politicians. These people are mighty men of the earth. These people are the great men of the earth. These people are your educators of the earth, educating your children to be like the devil. <laughs> it's, it's awful what they do. And I just rebuke it in the name of Jesus, all of it. So um, the seven mandate thing that they had, they claim to be Christian. It's really not. It's them wanting to get rich off of the name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus said that they hold the truth in unrighteousness. So they know the truth. They know that Jesus is the Christ. They know that you can get saved by faith in the death, burial, and resurrection. But they hold that truth in unrighteousness. What's unrighteousness? Well, Jesus is our righteousness, right? According to the scriptures, the Lord our righteousness. He is our breastplate in Ephesians 6. So they're holding the truth in unrighteousness and unbelief, but they're claiming they're believers. Claiming they're believers. And they're twisting the scriptures so that people don't quite see it. But I pray in the name of Jesus that all men, even those that are, the Bible says that in the New Testament that they're contrary to all men, these wicked ones, the, the devil and his angels and their children that they have made from the child. Remember, the prophet said they are the sons of the sorceress. So there's sorcery involved, and Jesus even talked about the sorcery. Now these people know who they are, and they know what they're doing, and they know, they know that Christ is coming, and they're, they have made a league of people to, of different people to come against the Christ and against his saints. That's what the encampments of Palestine are. That's what all of it is, BLM, the pride parades, all of it, the technology, the changing they change everything. God says that they had souls in barns, okay? That's what he means by they, they um, collect things in barns, their treasures. The treasures are our light, our life, our, um, our minds, our hearts, our bodies, spiritual, metaphysically, and then they hold you naturally. Sometimes they get people in debt, and then what happens with that is you owe man, and Jesus said, owe no man, okay? They're, these are traps and snares that they made, but God said that no, 